Hi everyone, this is Mary and you're watching Cards TV and I was finally able to tear myself away from making those little 3x3 mini albums and make a card that I needed for a sweet sweet lady and it's a thank you card and once again I've stamped, can you believe that? and this time I used this stamp, a warm thank you for everything you do and this is that same Inca Dinka Do uh, stamp set I got and it's called Boxed Wishes. I got it at Michael's. I really like it. And I stamped that with black ink using a Martha Stewart black ink pad. I used Storybook to cut my scalloped rectangle and the papers. Let me show you these gorgeous papers. I found these in a little pack at Big Lots and it's an 8 by 8 pack of papers and it said it's by pressed petals but I think that's like a division of die cuts with a view but this is the one I chose for my card there at the bottom I just think it's so pretty I love purple and green together and this has kind of a brown mocha colored background and the texture on this is just wonderful I loved it and then this is the brown part of my card and it looks like wood grain great texture but look at these beautiful papers they would just make really pretty like vintage cards and the texture on them just makes them so special this is a little bit more modern looking but these colors I think will be great for fall the greens the purples the browns I just like every one of them so you'll probably be seeing them on a lot of cards striped and then this one just has a pretty flower right here but I did choose the brown and the one with the pretty little purple and green flowers this is a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card and it's on white cardstock and I took my corner rounder and rounded just these uh, edges on the right hand side of the card as well as on the back of the card and the brown mat I cut at four by five and a quarter I rounded the edges on that and then I cut a piece of the flowered paper and I cut it at four inches wide and two and three quarters this way and uh, put it on top of the brown and I also rounded the corner on it my scallop rectangle like I said I used storybook you'll find that on page 41 it's under accent blackout and I cut it at three and a quarter and I took the paper piercer and put some holes in there to give it a lacy look I stamped my image and I used my uh, Prismacolor pencils which I love they work really well nice and soft and I colored in the flowers and the leaves and then it's got these little dots around here and I used some Sansador which is a low odor uh, solvent and some paper stumps, blending stumps and I just dip my, after I put my colors on I just dip this down in the Sansador and I very gently go in circles over what I've colored with my colored pencil and it gives it a watercolor look it takes some of the harshness away from it but then I um, inked around the uh, stamped image and also around the edges of the patterned paper on the card front with some Tim Holtz uh, tea dye distressed ink to give it kind of an aged look I think that's really pretty and this is kind of a not a vintage looking card but it's just you know just kind of has a not a romantic feel but it's just a softer sweeter card so I wanted it to have a little bit of an aged look but I've got to get this sent out to a very sweet friend who is just always sending me things I just she's the kindest sweetest most generous lady but I'm gonna get this out to her and I'm sending her some stuff too and I think you probably know who you are sweet friend but I just wanted to show you guys this I did put some green ribbon around here tied a bow and I turned it sideways so it wouldn't cover up the front of the card too much but I had fun making this so I've got to keep making some more cards if I start back on mini albums I won't get any cards done thanks so much for coming by guys 
Hope you have a great day, and I'll see you again soon. Bye now.